And I just couldn't get my head around this. Why are we having this debate now? What did Bundyaki do differently than CJ Standard, Jared Payne? You know, um, there was like, I think it's seven or eight players now have come through that system. And yeah, there was always somebody raised their head, but this turned into a national debate. Like, I thought that horse, be a national yeah, debate the horse had left the stable a long time ago, you know, for that one. And I thought it was probably a bit unfair on him that it went to that stage. You know, I think. It's a, it is a genuine debate, but it's been addressed by, by World Rugby eventually kicking and screaming. And they've even pushed it out to 2020 again, which I think is kind of fudging it a wee bit. Yeah. But I think the five-year rule is the right way to go. Three years was was a bit stupid. Um, and I think we all knew that. It's going to be five now eventually. And I think, you know, go one step further if you want to. Say, like, if you live here for five years, you want to play for Ireland, take out an Irish citizenship. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're going to die for the jersey. That's wrong with having a passport to go with it. So... But to have that debate this week to me made no sense whatsoever because, as I said, this has been this has happened many times before and maybe because there wasn't much buzz around this game. The Springboks were here for the sixth time uh, in, in in I think twelve or thirteen years and we've beaten them four of the six times and we've beaten them down in South Africa last year. So there was kind of no mystique or mystery about the Springboks and maybe had something else to talk about and that was a good place to start but I thought it was a lot of hype about really nothing and I thought I felt bad for, for, for the player um, because he was in the middle of a, of a firestorm that had nothing to do with him that other people had done the same thing as he had.